No, don't. Okay. Well, I wasn't ready yet, but that's all right. Okay. All right, can you see me? Yes. Okay, great. Sorry, guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hooping Live. Um, I am sorry about the uh, different background. I was having some technical difficulties um, with my internet upstairs, so I'm down here tonight. I don't plan on um, getting yelled at for not wearing shoes, so fingers crossed that I don't. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, last time that I filmed down here, uh, a woman was like, put your shoes on! I was like, okay, whatever. I actually got really mad about it. It was kind of funny. I was like, really mad. But I'm over it now. I actually talked to her and she admitted that she was like an old biatch. So at least she can admit it. She's actually a really sweet lady. But anyway, um, tonight Jenna's going to be a little bit late for the show. So it's just me right now. Me and my wounded finger. Um, so if you don't know who I am, my name is Audrey, also known as Audtree here on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel and I teach hoop dance and do hoop dance demonstrations and dances. It's in the name. The proof is in the pudding, y'all. And um, so yeah, so this show is live, and so you can ask any question that you want, and just comment them down below like you would any YouTube comment, and um, we can show you a demonstration on a hoop move. We can talk about a certain subject that you're kind of thinking about in your own hoop dance, and uh, Really do anything hoop related. And um, yeah, so grab your hoop, bring your comments and your questions, like I said, and um, we can get to talking about it. If I am pixelated tonight, I really do apologize. The internet's not as good as my internet upstairs. I'm hoping it will be back on soon and working. This does happen a couple times a year, so hopefully it will get resolved shortly. I um, kind of interesting to be in a new space, but hopefully I'm not too, too pixelated and unlookable. Lookable. Lookable. It's a word. Don't deny me. Don't doubt me, you guys. Lookable is a word. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and um, do a quick demo and show you guys kind of what I've been working on this past week. Jenna, are you in the house or do I just see some LEDness? Nope, it's me. I am here. <laughs> I don't see video. I, I guess video's not working very well tonight. Hmm. I'll log back out and log back in and see if it helps. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. You're yeah, okay. We, we you're coming through fine, Jenna. On oh, the okay. broadcast, you're coming through okay. I'm not seeing any... Oh, there she is. Okay. Awesome. There's my little Jenna winna. Here we okay, go. great. So um, I'll do a quick demo and then let Jenna introduce herself and we will go ahead and get to the questions. We're not going to have as long of a show tonight, so if you do want to say something, I suggest posting down now and getting your question or comment kind of out in the open so we can answer it with fullness and thoroughness. Anyway. All right, let's see here. Oh, gosh. I have my little hoop bundle. Um, these are the hoops that I'm using right now. They all kind of, like, look like they're in the same family. This is a lavender poly. This is a uh, kind of a sea foam, and this is a mix between the two. It's my glow-in-the-dark one. But, uh, yeah, so I will use... Oh, Mr. Phone. Stop you and your silly words. Okay. So, let's see here. Is, does this look okay right here? Yeah, you're good right there. Yeah? Okay, great. Oh, 
all my hoops there are falling. Oh, God, I'm everything. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. If I get yelled at, I just don't care. Flung my hoop into its own pile. Come check this out. This is like actually kind of funny. I like flung it just like right. <laughs> I like, just wanted to go right. back home. <laughs> oh god, I dropped you guys. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> oh, there I am. Um, sorry. I'm like a hot mess, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what has my life come to? Okay, so anyway. <laughs> That was my really um, weird demo. Okay, Jenna, just talk to them and make them show that we're actually good at hooping here on Hooping Live. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. I'm Jenna. Um, if you don't already know me, I'll just uh, talk a little bit about myself right now. Um, I've been hooping for just over three years now, um, and I'm local to the Lawrence, Kansas area, but I'm also always around, like, the Kansas City, Kansas area, and, like, over the park in Olathe and stuff, um, and I'm going to be trying to make it out to Drum Tribe on Monday night sometime in KC, but it makes it hard with hooping live and class, since I'm in class in the summer, but hooping live comes first before anything else, so... Yeah, um, I'll go ahead and just do a quick demo here. Um, so just, yeah. Get it, girl. It's so good. Yeah, skip body rocket, body rocket. I love when you do that. That's like so fun. That's like that's like the Jenna move. <laughs> I love it. Your arms are just like so expressive. It's awesome. Nice. Ta <laughs> Don't stop. Because you can stop. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Jenna. Okay. So that was Jenna. If you saw anything that Jenna or I did in that little demo, you are welcome 
to uh, comment down below and ask for our help, and we're happy to help with whatever we can. Um, so it looks like we have a lot of comments right now. Like I said, if you do want to comment, I highly suggest going ahead and commenting ASAP uh, so you can get your comment read uh, live during the show instead of commented after the show. So let's go ahead and get this wire out of the way. There we go. Oh my gosh, that light was like so bright. Hold on. Is it like... There. You look okay. It's fine. I look okay? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like, my life is coming to like some sort of weird like end right now. My Today has just been absolutely crazy. Everything. I feel like I look crazy. Like my eyes are like, I'm a big eyed monster. Um, um, okay, so anyway. Um... Okay, so let's get to the comments. I hope the Wi-Fi is okay right now, you guys. I am, like, super embarrassed about this right now. Um, okay. Anyway, so we have a comment um, from Caitlin that says, Hey, Audrey, I recently learned the shoulder duck out on my right shoulder, and now I'm trying to learn my left side so that I can get into learning the double shoulder duck out. That sounds crazy. Any advice on hooping clockwise on the left shoulder duck out and it do I start from the right and let it roll onto my back and then get my left for a double duck out? Do I start from my right and let it roll onto my back and get onto my left for the double duck? Um, oh, I know what she's talking about. Okay. Uh, Jenna, is she talking about the double duck out when you go from this shoulder to this shoulder and then like back on? I think so, yeah. Because she okay. said that she's learned like, because um, she hoops clockwise, so she's gotten her right shoulder, and so if you're, for me, it'd be my left shoulder because I hoop counterclockwise. So she needs to learn how to get it to the other side. So, yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, so then, so she's saying that she can already do the like, oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Andre Catherine Shira. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, let me use this. So, um, I'm going to assume that you're saying that you can do that one, but you're looking to do the one where it's kind of like that. Okay. So if, if uh, I'm assuming that's the one you're talking about, and if it is, the way that I learned the kind of double uh, shoulder duck out was I actually started by bringing the hoop from the off body onto the shoulder, and then kind of like bringing it around. And what that did was kind of helped me like. Okay, I'm like literally gonna take my shoes off. Um, YOLO, right? <laughs> I'm just um, I just kind of like learned that kind of feeling of it going from one shoulder to the other. Kind of like doing that move and just understanding the duck out. I do always recommend learning how to duck out on each shoulder. But when you duck out, let me see if I can remember how to do this. I have not done this move in so long. Yeah, okay. So what you do is, when it's coming off the shoulder, you kind of have to like turn your back into it and bring the shoulder almost like a wall to hold the hoop so it has something to fling back around. Because when you're doing the duck out, you're, all, you're kind of creating like an L-shaped wall with your shoulder. And um, when you're doing that, um, you want to transfer as it's coming around your body or on your shoulder is when you're going to transfer shoulders and go into that same position and as it swings back around you come back so it's um, 
I like to let go of it. I'm, I don't do that a whole lot, but um, I can try to show you guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that's kind of what it is. I don't do that a whole lot, like I said, but something you can do is um, duck out and come down to the shoulder and into shoulder hooping. Um, sometimes that can help, um, but other than that, I'm not really, I mean, you can duck out and come straight back in, but I kind of feel like it's cool to kind of come onto your arm and throw the hoop off your body. I don't know, Jenna, do you have any suggestions for that? Do you know how to do that trick? Um, I can do the, just the one shoulder. I'm still working on getting it onto doubles, like the double shoulder duck out, but I know um, when I was first learning how to do the shoulder duck out, what really helped me was to use like my whole arm. So I'd come into it and duck out with my whole arm, and that way you get the timing of it down, and you have this your arm up so the hoop's not flying off your body, so you can kind of get the feel for it. Um, but yeah, that's my only suggestion because I'm still learning it myself. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard one. Um, but yeah, so if if that makes sense, I hope it does. If not, let me know and um, we can uh, further explain it to you. Um, and so thank you, Caitlin, for the good question. That's um, actually something I should work on because that actually is a kind of a cool move. I feel like it, there should be a really cool way to kind of dance into it. So like if you're hooping around your shoulder, you can kind of like maybe do something like that or like, I don't know, like swing your arm around. I'm trying to like figure out cool ways to dance into it. Yeah, Jenna, that looked good. Yeah? Yeah, that looked really good. Um, you want to do that again? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It's because we're looking now. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that was sick. Okay, cool. Ooh. Awesome. So let's move on to the next comment. Sarah Schnee, I know that name, says, mm -hmm. Hey, guys, I don't know what the move is called, but I was wondering if you could do demo how to do the crisscross the hoop in front of you. Like a weave? That's all I can think of is a weave. Um, I think she, oh, yeah. she has a comment later that says that you did it in your demo. I can only think about this. I don't know. I don't know. The only crisscross thing I can think about is that thing. Is a weave. Yeah. Um, Sarah, if you could be a little bit more descriptive on what that move is, that would be great. Okay. So Nicolina, hi Nicolina, says, besides hoop dance, what are some other creative outlets you use as far as hooping, and how has your balancing the hoop been going? Hello as always. Hello Nicolina. And I'm going to go ahead and let Jenna uh, take this question away first. Um. Okay, so other... Creative outlets. Um, well, for a really, really long time, I, well, I guess I still am. I'm um, a very musical person. I play trumpet and I used to play piano. Um, so I've always found a creative outlet through music, which is why I think hooping stuck so much with me because I hoop to music, um, which you don't always have to. Um, but I'm really not like artistic or creative in any other ways. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen my poor attempts at drawing. Um, so, yeah. Um, as far as hooping, how has your balancing the hoop been going? Um, I actually haven't really been practicing balance. The only balance that I consistently practice and what I've been working on is what I think Baxter calls this like the door knocker where you swing it up from here and you balance it this way. And I've been working on this, getting it on one hand, so that way I can eventually go into other positions with it, and I want to learn how to balance it on my face, but I don't have the coordination for that yet. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Jenna. Um, yeah, the door knocker is really cool. Um, all of his balancing uh, techniques are actually really, really cool, uh, but anyway, um, um, to answer 
have a question. Um, yeah, Jenna is. I'm like so impressed with Jenna's ability to do like trumpet and stuff. I mean, that is like you said trumpet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's take that as a yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is really cool. I'm actually I I am into music as well. I what? Nothing. Go on. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so moving on. Um, yes. Um, creative outlets. For those of you who uh, do not know, I love beauty, lifestyle, and health. I am so into kind of creating that perfect lifestyle. Um, and my creative outlet lately has actually been Moon Alla Mode. And Moon Alla Mode is the kind of blog slash brand that my girlfriend Kelsey and I have started. And um, it's Moon Alla Mode, M-O-O-N-A-L-A-M-O-D-E, Moon Alla Mode. Yes, moon with a scoop of ice cream or of the day or in the style dot com. So moonalamo.com and it is a fashion beauty lifestyle blog that we just started and we're absolutely loving it. So if you want to check it out, I would so love to hear what you guys think about it, what you think I should post because the original reason I even got into making beauty videos is because I got asked all the time on my hooping videos, how do you do your cat eye? Like how do you do the cat eye? How do you do like so many times? And I was like, you know what? I'll just make a video on it. And I made a video and I really loved making it. So I started making more and more videos. And I got so into the making the beauty videos that I decided that um, I was going to dedicate a channel to it. And Kelsey is an esthetician and a beauty lover as well. So we just had to kind of join together. And through the help of our lovely investor, we were able to start a business together, and I hope you guys like it. Moonalamo.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, and the Twitters. But um, besides that, yes, I do love music as well. I play the piano. I have not practiced in a long time, but um, when I sit down on the piano, I'm really good at playing by ear, so I'm able to really um, connect with music. But other than that, that's kind of what I'm into. I, I work a lot, but that's definitely not a creative outlet. And balancing has been going really well for me. I balance... <coughs> Pardon me one second, guys. Sorry. Woo! I got some air in my throat. This is a crazy concept. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, I've been doing a lot of balancing lately. Um, one thing about balancing is you want to understand the weight of your hoop. I definitely suggest having like a balancing hoop to practice with just until you can get the, the motions down for it. Um, what Tiana taught us at Hoop Path this past time was um, open palm balancing and using your thumb as a kickstand <coughs> to kind of hold on to the hoop. So you can kind of learn how to balance it. It takes a lot of time to like see like what the hoop is going to react with with your like hand or whatever. So I definitely suggest really practicing and kind of like using your thumb to kind of push down and hold the hoop in place. Um, and then once you get it, I mean that's a that's a good thing that I've just started to learn because that's how you can learn the whole like. <laughs> that whole nonsense. But um, I do a lot of the, of the back of the hand. It's a little bit more Baxter style, but um, back of the hand balancing. I, don't know, I can't. Apparently, I can't do it right now. But yeah, I just suggest trying with one hoop and understanding the weight of it and then practicing with different ways. Try balancing it on every part of your body. One thing that I really learned that's super cool is um, with that open palm, or even the back of the, it's either way, if open palm is better for you, or back of the hand is better, I'll talk about open palm for a second. Learn how to balance a hoop on your open palm, and then on the edge of your palm. Learn how to balance it right there, right here, 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 
and continuing down almost, no, literally to the complete chest roll. So every point that the hoop goes across the chest roll, try to balance the hoop there. And when you do that, you will have such a controlled chest roll. It will be phenomenal. I mean, a chest roll, a lot of people think that you need to just use speed and throw it across your body or whatever. And you can. A, a chest roll can be just a toss across the body. But if you really want to make it like smooth, crisp, and almost like intimate almost, you have to really think about ooh, every inch that the hoop travels across the body. And you can really learn to control your hoop roll, or your uh, chest rolls. So anyway, moving on, that's like crazy. But um, anyway, uh, Sarah Schnee says, the move you did in your intro. I have no idea what that was. Is, Jenna, did you see my intro? Uh, yeah, but I, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm no help. <laughs> I literally don't remember, Sarah. I am so sorry. I will look back and we will, like, if you can pinpoint the moment that it happened after the show's posted, let me know, and I'll try to, like, personally talk to you and let you know what I did, because I just cannot remember. Um, but anyway, um, T.S. Uki... You says, any advice for very, very new hooping a week tops? I literally bought my hoop over a year ago because I saw it done once and knew it needed to and knew I needed to do this. This was made for me. Fear took over and it collected dust. Now that I need to learn to be strong more than ever, I picked it up and it's love. That's awesome. And um, I'm gonna let Jenna answer this one again first. Um any tips for new hooping? Um, oh, I'm trying to remember back to my days of new hooperness long, long three years ago. <laughs> um, well, I would say first off, um, just, I mean, you've, you've already realized that it's something that you need to do, and I think that's the first step in hooping, because um, that was kind of my first step. I saw... Um, my actually one of my friends now, Sierra, she um, posted a video of her hooping on her Tumblr, and I saw it and I fell in love, and like spent hours and hours and hours watching YouTube videos and knew this is something I need to do. And I think that's kind of step one for everyone um, is just kind of realizing this is what I want to do, and then from there it's just a lot of self exploration and practice and just finding out what your hoop style is because I mean you can even just see between me and Audrey we both hoop very very differently but we're both really good hoopers you know like Audrey has been hooping longer than I have but I feel like we kind of developed in different ways with our hooping I don't know if that makes any sense um, but just a lot of practice and self-exploration I think is gonna do you best um, and practicing doesn't have to be in front of anyone. When I first started hooping, I would practice in my backyard with my 44-inch, like, one-inch tubing HDPE hoop. Um, it was ridiculous. And I used to tell my mom when I went outside, do not watch me. Like, I, I would get so mad when I would catch her watching me um, practice hooping uh, because I was super embarrassed by it. But just as time went on, I got more and more comfortable um, with my own hooping and with people watching and... It's just baby steps along the way. Um, and something that I suggest is document your progress. Take videos. Even though you may not have any intentions to post them, they're always something that's really, really fun to look back on. Um, I actually posted my very first hooping video, um, I think, a couple weeks into my hoop journey. And all I could really do was like weaves and waist hooping and like neck hooping. And that was it. Um, and it's like the most embarrassing video on my YouTube channel. It is still available for anyone and anyone to watch. All of my videos are. Um, so you can always go back and see how dumb I looked three years ago. Um, but definitely document your progress because it, when you get a year, two years, three years down the line, it'll be amazing to just see how much you've progressed. 
and that's my advice. <laughs> Awesome, Jenna. Thank you so much. That was actually great advice. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to talk that much, but uh, I will uh, agree with her. Um, and to add on to my own words, document, 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 whether you show it or not. Um, because someday someone's going to want to see that because I, I had so many videos that I made when I first started hooping, and I thought, oh my god, like, this is embarrassing, and then one day I kept getting all these emails from these girls saying, I'm so discouraged, you're so good, like, how'd you get so good, blah, 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 and I'm like, I felt the same way you felt, like, two years ago. I felt like I would never, ever get there. I'm like, that's an impossible goal. Like, it's me, it's Audrey, I'm awkward, I can't dance. And I've never really been amazing at anything. I've been okay in a lot of things, but never amazing at anything. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to ever get there. And um, honestly, I still don't really feel like I'm there. But uh, if other people think I am, then that's good enough for me if I can inspire other people. Anyway, so I uh, um, kept all my videos and made the... I love my progress hooping video, and it kind of, it went viral in its own way. It didn't actually go viral, but it went viral for people that it meant something to, and I was glad that I did. So document your progress. It'll make you feel better about yourself, and also, let's see, for new hoopers, don't feel like you need to get to a really small hoop really quickly. Like Jenna said, 44 inches. Don't feel like that's super big. Like, it is big but stick with it. Don't let someone say, like, oh, you need to, you know, decrease in size. Do what feels good for you. I mean, I still hoop with, like, a 40-inch hoop sometimes if I want to learn something on another current. Actually, I, I use 36 inches, but um, do what feels good for you. Don't feel, don't do what's, like, good for other people. My problem was I saw, like, one of my favorite hoopers hooping with a 28-inch hoop, and I was like, oh, I need to hoop with a 28-inch hoop, and then I'll be as good as she is. No, that's, like, not the case. It's whatever is good for you is what's going to be good with hoop size. So don't let yourself be fooled because I use a 32-inch hoop. doesn't mean that if you use a 32-inch hoop that is seafoam blue and has metal rivets mean, and it's sanded doesn't mean you're going to hoop like me. It just means that you're going to have the same hoop as I have. So just keep that in mind and don't let yourself kind of get fooled by that. So anyway, let's move on to the next comment. That was a great comment. These are You guys are doing awesome comments tonight. Um, Nicolina says, those were both nice demos. Great job. And thank you, Nicolina. We love you. You are such an awesome viewer. And um, I do want to say some great news, and I want to thank all of you. Not only is Hooping Live hit over 2,000 likes on Facebook, but the YouTube channel has reached 10,000 subscribers. Woo! 10,000 subscribers. I know for some people that's, like, not a lot, but for us, that's 10,000 people that want to look at me and look at Jenna and look at whoever else is on the show. Like, that's amazing. 10,000 of you like Hooping Live, and I guarantee you that Jenna and I, I think I can speak for Jenna to say that we are so grateful. Definitely. I mean, it's awesome. And it's crazy because I, before Hooping Live became my, my YouTube channel, it was just my YouTube channel, and I did have, you know, a decent number of subscribers, but not until Hooping Live happened did it actually boom. So I'm so happy, and I'm I'm so grateful that Jenna can be a part of this journey with me. She's been so dedicated, and Craig Ship, CraigShip.com, if you guys haven't seen him yet, has been an awesome manager, keeping us in line and keeping our videos strong and on point. So we're super grateful for him as well. I guarantee you that it would have taken a lot longer to get where we are today if we weren't, uh, if we didn't have him in our life. So thank you, Craig. I know you don't like to be complimented, but I'm complimenting you. <laughs> Look at me. 
Love me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Sorry, I have to get him to smile at least one time a show. Uh, so, Earth Brown says, Get out of here. You're always lovely. Aw, thanks. Jenna and I are like... I don't even have a word for it. All I can do is dance. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Okay, it's been a long day. It's... I feel that. It's I totally feel that. Day. I've been in the hospital. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, if I'm, like, so weird right now. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, Brad Chase Nor says, Hello, Jenna. Hello, Audrey. You two rock. We know. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Thank you. <laughs> um, David Pastor says, for someone like myself, what is the best tip for learning how to get the hoop start around your waist? I've tried so many times, I just can't, see, can't seem to get the hoop to stay up. All right. I'm going to do a quick demo on waist hooping, but I'm not going to stay on it very long. If you're right-handed, put your right foot in front. If you're left-handed, put your left foot in front. For right-handed hoopers, put your right foot in front, and it's going to be a backward and forward motion. It's not going to be this. It's not going to be this. And it's not going to be this. It's going to be kind of a rocking motion. And when the hoop comes to the front of your body, you're going to push out. And it comes to the round of your body, you're going to push back. It's like if you were to take like a, like a ring around your finger and throw it in the air like just don't care. Um, and kind of go like this. It's that same thing. Um, if you like spin something across your finger, it's kind of that same motion. So right foot in front for right-handed hoopers. Make sure the hoop is nice and level. So there's, it's not like this, it's not wonky, it's just level. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn to the right-hand side, and you're going to push the hoop to the left, and make sure you're pushing it nice and even across your body. And you're going to go back and forth. Pretty simple. And then once you get comfortable with that, you can put your foot side to side and kind of keep that same forward and back motion going, and then that's when you can learn other variations. For left-handed hoopers, you're going to put your left foot in front, same back and forth motion, but this time you're going to put the hoop level, nice and level, bring it to the right, nice and straight across your body, back and forth, that same thing. The hoop's going around the front of your body, you're pushing out, and as it comes around to the back, you're pushing back. So you're giving that hoop momentum and rhythm. So don't think about just going in a circle. Think about you are the energy behind the hoop, and you need to keep the momentum going. So if you switch, and then once you get comfortable with it, Just kind of learn how to engage both currents of the hula hoop. Okay. Jenna, do you have anything else you want to add to that, or is that...? Um, I think the only thing I would say is you should, for on-body hooping, for learning for on-body hoop, you need to start with a hoop that is heavy. And it doesn't sound logical when you first think about it. Like, heavy, like it would seem like it's harder to keep a heavier hoop up. But since the hoop is heavier, you're getting more momentum from it, and you're actually gonna have to work less to keep it up. So start with a good heavy beginner hoop. Mine was, as I said, a 44 inch, uh, one inch diameter, uh, very heavily taped HDPE hoop. It was huge, but. It definitely, definitely helps. For off-body stuff, you can use any other kind of weight or size that you want, but for on-body, beginning on-body hooping, you want to start with a heavy, big hoop. Absolutely. 
Um, so yeah, I agree. Uh, Jenna, thank you for reminding me on that. I didn't even think about mentioning that point. Caitlin Cochrane says, yeah, I just, I'm just asking advice on doing for the opposite shoulder. I've been trying to do it with my arm out, and I suppose that's the way to learn. It's just a lot harder learning the left. Haha, <laughs> it keeps hitting me in the face. But thanks so much. And I think Sarah Shani was talking about the demo when you were passing it back and forth really quickly in your hands with your back slightly tilted backwards. Oh, I think I know what she's talking about. What? I think you did something like, like you did like this or something, or like some kind of passing move like this. I don't, I don't remember. I, I feel like you did something like that, but I, I don't know. That's kind of what it, her description is making. Oh, 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 are you talking about um, when I went like this? Yeah, that's probably it. Okay. Yeah, that, that actually that is a cool move. Um, okay, so what that is, is holding the hoop where your hand, so you're holding the hoop, you're going to come in front of it and wrap around it. So you're kind of like holding the hoop like this. And what you can do is you can push the hoop And it kind of twirls around and it ends up backwards. Like that. And then you can push it. And you can kind of do this kind of like almost like twirl thing in front of your body. And what you do is when you get like here, you're holding the hoop like this. under, hold, and you can go boom, 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 and you can switch, it's kind of like a, a strange break. Um, I don't know. Did that make sense, Jenna? Could you get that? Oh, yeah, definitely. I just have to work on doing it in a place where I don't have a fan right there. So. Yeah, fans will get on it. <laughs> if that's the right move, um, let me know. If it's not, also let me know so I can, like, help you. I feel really bad that I can't understand the exact move you're trying to get here. But, um, yeah, hopefully it is. But, um, anyway... Um, let's see here. Um, Audrey, while you're I'm clear, sure, can you get we... a screenshot for the show notes? Sure. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, you were clear. Let's see if it clears up again. Now it's now it's funky again. Hold on a second. Hopefully it'll clear up. Please clear up. It's not doing okay. it. I'll let you know when you're clear again. All right, so um, she said, yeah, asking for advice on doing the opposite shoulder um, with my arm out. Yeah, honestly, for, like, hooping on your shoulders, just make sure you're pointing the shoulder in the right direction. Like, if you're going to hoop on your shoulder, you need to create a wall for the hoop, almost like a flat wall. So it needs to, like, be something for the hoop to completely go around. It can't be like a slanted one or any kind of weird angle. It needs to com be a complete, like, vertical, yeah, vertical plane to move across for the hoop to successfully go around you. Um, but anyway, um, Tasuki Q says, oh, also can you explain what your hoop journal Four, what kinds of entries and thought process? I find that intriguing and think I would like to start with my own. You're, you're clear now, Audrey. Okay. 
Got it. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, hoop journals. Um, <clears throat> I get one of those, and I keep it for the mere reason that sometimes I don't feel like inspired to hoop, and instead I write about hooping and what I want to learn, how I feel in the hoop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's a really good idea to help with plateaus and for journaling down ideas that you have and emotions that come out during a, a specific like jam or something. I think it's an all-around great idea. Um, Jenna, do you have a hoop journal? Yes, I do. Um, and currently, it is just filled with my thoughts and feelings and everything that I went through while I was on Hooping Idol. Because even though I was only on there for like Casting Week and then Hip Hop and Classic Rock Week, those were still like the three most stressful videos that I've ever had to like help make. Um, and so I have a lot of my thoughts and feelings and everything about Hooping Idol in there. Um, but I am also going to be taking it any time, anytime I, be, I take workshops or if um, I'm going to go to, well, I am going to go to Hoop Path again in December if Baxter decides to come back to KC um, because I didn't bring it with me last year and I instantly regretted it. Um, Baxter, just the way that he talks, I, there were so many things that I would like try to remember that he said because he was so inspiring with the stuff that he says during our flow time and our flight time in the workshop that it's like I wish I would have been able to write those down to recreate the feeling later for plateaus like Audrey said so that's that's what I use mine for <laughs> awesome I love that Jenna thank you um so wait what I'm confused in the comments here we have a lot so let's try to get through these in the next nine minutes um, Sarah Schnee says, yes, the weave. Okay. Um, Jenna, do you want to go ahead and teach the weave while I get through the rest of the comments and read them? Yeah, sure. yeah I'll just go Thanks. through it real quick. Um, I don't know if you were talking about, like, the, oh, I need to point my camera up. Um, I don't know what weave that Audrey did, if it was the weave that goes, like, this way, or if it was, like, the in front of you weave, but they're both like pretty much the same concept. If you're going to be doing the weave where it's crossing in front of your body, all you're going to do is have a palm up grip, grip it very loosely, and then just swing it from left side to right side to left side to right side. And as you're learning it, you might want to get like a little sway with it so you're not hitting your body. Um, but yeah, so this is the one way to do it. I'll do it from the side. Um, and then if you're talking about like where it's crossing in front and the back of the body, it's the same concept, um, except when you cross in front of you, your, your palm's going to be face down, and then when you get over here, it's going to be face, your palm's face up, so it's just going to swing, you're going to let the momentum swing it from this way to that, so that's weaves. <laughs> cool, awesome, thank you, Jenna. That was a great demonstration demonstration of weaves. If you did not get that quick enough, these shows are recorded, so you can watch them after the mat, after the matter, after the fact. So um, be sure to check out the shows and any Hooping Live show after it's been recorded. We will have all the show notes on each of the episodes soon, so you can see what was recorded on each show in case you want to go back and relearn something. Carla Karma says, "Hey Audrey, a couple of shows ago you you said to tell us the Hoopers we would love to see on the show. It would be amazing if you would be able to get Tiana, Shakti, um, Shimon Wong, Larry's Good, Babs Robinson, and Hoopers that have been on the Electric Force Hoop Troop on the Hooping Live. I know there's a lot of Hoopers. Look up to them and bring more viewers." Um, Yes, it would be great to have them on. Tiana has said that she would gladly come on a multiple times for like a year now. I'm not mad at you, Tiana, but come on, girl, you're letting me down. But um, anyway, she said she would come on. Um, Shakti, I have not really. Well, have I talked to Shakti? I don't remember if I talked to Shakti or not, but I will. Um, I'll try to get uh, those people in. Um, Carla is requesting Hoopers to be on the show. Be sure to leave your request down below. I would love to help you guys get the people you want to see on the show on the show to help you become inspired and kind of help the Hooping Live community grow. 
So I'm not going to take any more comments tonight, but I am going to read the last um, couple here. Um, Karen Kitchen says, A and J, or Audrey and Jenna, you both are great inspirations to those of us who are just starting out. You share great information, do a great job of answering questions. Thank you. That was like really sweet. <laughs> Making the girl blush. Right, Jenna? Yes, yeah, so sweet. Yeah. Nicolina says, those are both great points about balance. Audrey, that is great that you both have more than one creative outlet, continually expanding. Personally, I've been doing geometric geometrical drawings. Thank you for another awesome show. And that was such a sweet comment, too. Thank you. We love to be able to satisfy you guys. You are our wonder walls. <laughs> um, Dave Pastor says again, for someone like myself, what is the best tip for learning how to get the hoop start? Okay, we already did that one. Um... MMO says, I know a hooper who also spins poi. Do you guys ever do that as well or tried or willing to try? Yes. I think Jenna and I have both done poi. I'll let Jenna talk for herself, but poi has actually helped me learn hoop in more than one way. It taught me how to do the three-beat weave. So I think poi and other flow arts are very beneficial to learn when you're um, learning how to hoop. How about you, Jenna? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've only ever played around with like sock poi, um, just like basic versions of poi, but it has also helped me um, learn the three beat weave and variations of different kind of weaves and like the fountain and stuff like that. Um, poi definitely has the closest relationship to hooping than any of the other flow arts, so it's definitely been beneficial. Awesome. I completely agree. Poi is, I think any flow art is great to learn. I think that in any dance, really, I think anything you can do to expand your um, hoop dance abilities is going to be something to help you grow in your hoop dance. Even learning like geometry or um, art or any form of dance, I think, really teaches you how to expand in your flow. Um, so, let's see. Earth Brown says, I wish I could see you doing your art at an event or show or just a night where you're out having fun. I sure, I'm sure many around you have enjoyed. Be well, you are so awesome. I think that's for you, Jenna. Oh, but okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Jenna is an awesome artist. I agree. Um, David says, thank you. I appreciate the tip. Glad you appreciate. Um, hey, Jenna, nice tattoo from David as well. Thank you. So thank you, David, for all the awesome comments, whoever you are. We appreciate it, and it was very kind of you. Um, so last comment for the night is Earth Brown who has been a very avid commenter tonight, and we're grateful for it. We love when we have new commenters commenting on comments. Commenting on new um, Sorry, that was like a song. Uh, Jenna is top-notch, too. Watch her YouTube here, too. It's way cool. And, yes, Jenna has literally gotten amazing. She, um, I, I, am I right when I say that you were, like, a fan of mine or whatever before you started on the show? Oh my gosh, yes. I think I've messaged you like multiple, multiple times on YouTube like asking to like hoop with you or whatever because I found out that you went to my high school um, and I was probably pretty creepy at some times. But uh, yes, okay. I was a huge fan of Audrey before I got on the show. <laughs> okay, well I just want to like say a quick comment on that because the whole reason and I just, I don't want to like cause any creepers to be born but... Jenna's um, constant, like, she, all, all I know is that whenever I posted something or asked a question, like, she was always there. So when I was like, hey, should I start a beauty channel or what do you think about this name? All I knew is that this girl named, you know, Jenna was always commenting on my stuff and would have a truthful opinion. So I would text her or, like, send her questions and she would answer. And then when I was starting the show, the Hooking Live show, I was like, well, I need helpers. I'm like, okay, who has been dedicated to 
my hooping experience already, and Jenna was one of those people. So my instant thing was, okay, let me ask Jenna if she's interested in helping me with the show. And then it went from Jenna being, like, you know, one of my viewers to, like, staying at my house or, like, hanging at my house to, like, you know, being, like, my best friend and being on the show. So it's, like, a really cool process. And I know I keep saying, like, but... I don't know. I really love it. I think it's a really cool thing, and um, I'm really grateful for Jenna. She's done so much for the show. I mean, holy God, the show <laughs> Hooping Live could not be Hooping Live without Jenna. Oh, thanks. Absolutely. I love you, girl. You might love you. Me. All right, guys. So it is 10 o'clock. I'm going to wrap up the show. I am, again, sorry if the quality was poor tonight. I was kind of an idiot, and my Wi-Fi got pooped on, so sometimes Wi-Fi needs to be pooped on to get refresh end. Right? Something like that. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to let Jenna go ahead and wrap up and give you her information in case you guys want to know it. Go, yeah, Jenna, sure. go. Um, if you guys want to find links to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, um, Hoop City, and I think we have a link for the Lawrence, Kansas Flow Jams on there as well. You can find all of that at flavors.me forward slash Jenna Drake, and I think that link, my flavors link, is actually on hoopinglive.com, so you can find it there as well. Awesome. Thank you, Jenna. And for those of you who don't know or didn't hear in the beginning of the show, my name is Audrey, also known as Audrey here on the YouTubes. And this is Hooping Live. Hooping Live is a live show every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. It talks all about hooping and hoop dance and has famous hoopers on the show every once in a while. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please email us at info at hoopinglive.com. Yes, our email is backed up. Yes, that is my fault. And yes, I promise I will get on that when I can. So do not feel like you were ignored. I'm just graduating college, and I'm working a job now, and it's, I'm not going to make excuses, but I will get to you when I can. If you're interested in helping out with the Hooping Live team, email us at the info at hoopinglive.com. Tell me what your skills are and what you would like to do, and if you would like to help out with the show. Um, if you want to learn more about what uh, the show is all about and learn how to make your own show, be sure to check out craigship.com or hangout10.com. Both websites have tons of information on electronics, like the lights that I'm using, the camera I'm using, the microphone that I'm using, everything and more. Uh, Hangout10.com, craigship.com, lots of great things on his YouTube channel. So if you're a tech nerd, that's a place to go. So check out Jenna, check out Craig, subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, you can follow us on Instagram. We're trying to get that going, but that's been a little tougher than I thought it would be. Managing more than one Instagram is not easy, but we'll make it work. But anyway, I'm not going to complain. You guys are awesome, and we love you. So from Jenna and I both, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.